chosen ones where you are chosen one you are born great all right but there is this thing that is keeping you in hostage there is this particular thing that is keeping you in bondage there is this particular thing that if you don't work on it it will paralyze you for the rest of your life and the greatness that is hidden in you will not be made manifest in your life all right in this video i'll be talking about why chosen ones suffer anxiety and fear meanwhile they have power and authority inside of them meanwhile there is greatness inside of them chosen ones are created to be great right but they suffer fear and anxiety and if you don't take care this fear and anxiety in you as a chosen one will overwhelm you will overpower you and the greatness in you will not be made manifest and you will keep on looking down upon yourself you will keep on belittling yourself you will think you are not worth it right this thing um is a deceptive plan and trick of the enemy to get you off your greatness right to make sure your greatness that god has deposited in you will not be made manifest if you are a chosen one all right and you are going through this um challenge you got to work on yourself this is how guys it normally happen if you are in class and a question is being asked and you want to ask you want to answer the question immediately you raise your hand and you are called to talk your heart will start to rage your heart will start to beat fast like never before all right and sometimes your mind is going to give you enough reason for you not to talk at all right there are a lot of chosen ones in school in college in uni university all right they have greatness inside of them any question that a lecturer will ask or any question that a tutor or a teacher will ask chosen ones have answered to it i'm telling you but because of this fear and anxiety they are afraid to raise their hand and answer and sometimes the the, 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 the teacher will call some people they will not be able to get the answer right but the right answer is in the head of the chosen one and the funny thing is when the teacher decides to provide the answer himself then the chosen one will be nodding his head yeah that is exactly what i was thinking in my mind but something in him or her is keeping him or her from not speaking right it could be in a in a group discussion it could be in a business board meeting it could be in a midst of social gathering public speaking this thing happens to most chosen ones i'm telling you this is a deceptive trick and plan of the enemy to get you paralyzed so that your greatness will not be made manifest in your life if you are a chosen one and you are suffering from this fear and anxiety this is what i want you to do i want you to start working on yourself don't try to um, pretend accept your situation accept the fear and anxiety acceptance is the key all right it is part of you okay so accept it anytime you want to say something you want to do something and your heart begins to beat fast to rage know that there is positivity in that there is greatness in that know that if you do that thing is there is going to be breakthrough right so you got to have that in mind you got to establish that in mind and don't let your fear and anxiety stop you that is the first clue all right the next is you got to establish in your mind that there are no perfect people and there are no important people there are only people there are no important 
people. There are only people. Most chosen one when growing up because they've been through a um, lot of uh, mistreatment, okay? A um, lot of um, abuses, okay? That has humbled them to the core and that makes them to always be coiling in their shell, right? They don't want to show up. Meanwhile, there is greatness deposited in them. Meanwhile, there is greatness deep within them. But because most chosen ones are born from a, a humble family, a family that um, they don't have, like, let, let me say, enough money, all right? There is no enough money, right? And because of that, they, 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 they belittle themselves. They see themselves as nobody. I'm telling you, if you are this type, you are somebody. You are great. You are powerful. And there is greatness in you. And this fear and anxiety is a, as a result of the devil's trick and deceptive plan to get you enslaved so that you will not be able to speak. You will not be able to talk. All right, guys, you got to work on yourself. Don't wait for your fear to go before you start what you want to do. I'm telling you, if you want your fear and anxiety to go as a chosen one, before you start what you want to do, before you, you do um, what God has put in you to do or say, I'm telling you, your fear will never go away as you continue to grow. I'm telling you. And if you are waiting for that fear to go, you will be waiting for so long a time. And you will be wasting your precious moment. And your purpose in this life will never be made manifest. Alright? So what is the way out? The way out for you, chosen one, is to... Do the things you fear. If you fear something, just do it. Push through it. You see, when there is fear, it means there is greatness in you. There is courage in you. There is boldness in you. There is braveness in you. That is why you have the fear. And you will get to discover this greatness, braveness, courageousness in you. If only you push through the fear. Right? So you got to push through the fear by doing the things you fear. And the moment you do something you fear and you succeed, you will see that your fear will fade into nothing else. And that will develop confidence in you. All right? And you will be like, ah, oh, so this thing that I'm afraid of, not knowing, I can do it too. Not knowing there is greatness inside me like that. And, uh, I'm looking down upon myself. So that will encourage you to keep on pushing even if you panicking, even if you, you, you have the fear and anxiety, guys. You got to do, you got to speak your truth even if your voice shakes. Tell yourself, you must speak your truth that resonate with you from your inside even if your voice shakes, guys. You got to speak. And that is the way out to develop the confidence that is going to help you to overcome your fear, guys. Let me tell you one thing about fear. Any new thing you want to do in this life, you're going to face fear. You're going to have fear and anxiety because you are uncertain. You don't know how it's going to end. You don't know what is going to happen, right? So you're going to be a little nervous. You're going to have anxiety. You're going to have fear. But if you encourage yourself a little bit and you do it, no matter what, you feel the fear, but you do it. You feel the anxiety, but you do it anyway. Then you will be defeating your fear and anxiety as a chosen one. And victory will always be yours. That is a sure way to overcome it. The next way to overcome it is to use breathing exercise. Breathing 
exercise, right? If in class and group in a, a business meeting and you are about talking and you see that your heart start to race, okay? You, you, you faster, just breathing. Nobody will say anything. Just breathe it, okay? That is tension that has been locked within you. So when you breathe in and you let it out, you breathe in and you let it out, you breathe in and you let it out, you feel normal and you feel normal and you will be able to speak and nothing is going to limit you, right? The next thing you can do to beat this fear and anxiety right and bring that greatness that is in you to pass in your life to fulfill your purpose is to exercise guys exercising right there are people that they feel like they are too skinny you are too slim you are too fat um you can't stand in front of people to speak because to you you look ugly to, to you you that you you doesn't look you, you don't look nice you don't look handsome maybe your teeth is not white enough you'll be thinking of so many things that people don't even think about you right start exercising when you start to build muscle to build strength and muscle that will develop confidence in you because working out guys is going to make you look attractive physically and the moment you start looking attractive physically you start looking a little manly physically or you start looking good about yourself then confidence is being developed in you so you will not feel shy to be in the midst of people you will not feel shy to stand in front of people to talk you will not feel shy to own a camera on you and talk and I mean, say what you want to say in life, right? This is the way out, guys. This is the way out, I'm telling you. And the next thing, guys, you got to do is to use positive affirmations. You can use positive affirmations. I'm serene. I'm poised. I'm calm. I'm peaceful, right? When you keep saying these things to yourself, so will it be if you have a presentation or you have an interview that you have got to carry out all right and you 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 have fear and anxiety all right this is what you got to do a week or days before the event you got to start to calm your nerve i'm poised i'm serene i'm peaceful i'm calm right and the next thing you got to do is to prepare before the D-Day. When you prepare preparation, you know what you, you're going to say. You know what um, you want to say, okay? It develops confidence in you. But if you don't know what you're going to say, that is going to make you to start fidgeting. And out of the fidgeting, anxiety setting and fear setting and panic attack setting and you begin to shake and then stage flight enter and that will collapse you right so guys put these things in practice i know a lot of chosen ones have great stuff in them but this thing called fear and anxiety is keeping them paralyzed is stopping them from fulfilling their divine destiny their divine purpose and their divine cause in this life if it is you guys you got to start working on yourself and push through your fear and know that there are no important people and most of the time what if what if that you think of people don't even think about you all right so start to see yourself as somebody and start to do what you are born to do no matter what guys got to remember that fear is an acronym that stands for false evidence appearing real that is fear false evidence appearing real so they are false they are deceptive plans and trick of the enemy to stop you from your greatness, to hold you captive, to hold you mentally slaved, right?
you got to win the battle within and as within so without so let go of your fear if you feel fear and anxiety push through it just do it do it anyway all right and know that when you're going to do something great like an interview like to do presentation like to answer a question like to contribute to something and your heart to start to race let that give you a clue that what you are about to say is something that is worthy that is important and don't let anything stop you all right guys the last trick i want to talk to you about that you can use to overcome this is the mile robins five seconds rule okay so this is how the five seconds rule work if you went to interview or you want to do a presentation or in class you want to talk and um, you have this fear and anxiety inside you start to count within you five five four three two one and then you blast you say whatever you want to say five four three two one then you say whatever you want to say if you don't say whatever you want to say within the five seconds your mind is going to give you enough reason for you not to talk and always you will be in a group in a, an association in class and your voice will never be heard meanwhile there is greatness in you all right so use this methods and i tell you chosen ones you are going to rediscover yourself you will see that there is greatness inside of you and the devil is only trying to steal from you remember the motive of the devil is to kill to steal and to destroy to destroy your great destiny that is in you your greatness that is in you to make you settle for less to make you settle for things that guys in, 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 in actual fact you can become more or achieve great greater things than such stuff all right there is greatness in you as a chosen one don't let your fear and anxiety stop you peace